plastics. Plastics that you can mold. What an awesome thing. But what the heck is it? There's polymorph. There's elemorph. There's thermomorph. There's so many. How in the heck are you supposed to know the difference? I can tell you this. They're all pretty much the same thing, just have different names. I'm using a thermomorph. And this is what we're going to talk about in this video, which is moldable plastics that you can use to create all kinds of weird things. I made a little gem. Crazy thumbnail for like a werewolf type thing. Monster. Something that could be an eyeball, I guess. Mm. And uh, just uh, in the shape of something round. Could have been a button or anything. But these are all just some things I randomly made when I was playing with the plastic. So we can see, that is horrible sounding. But we're going to show you how you can make all kinds of different things using this plastic. And as far as I know, it's non-toxic. But I will tell you, I'm not responsible if you die. So you, you do the research yourself. Okay? I've done a lot of research myself and I find nothing that says this type, at least this brand of thermal plastic is toxic. I couldn't find anything that said it was. So whatever brand you get, you make sure you do your own research because if you're going to be putting it in your mouth or something like that, you want to make sure that you're safe because safety is priority if you want to live. If not, don't be safe, but I want to tell you to be safe anyway. So let's look at this plastic, what you could do with it, and uh, that's it. Let's do it. First thing you want to do is warm up some water. I brought mine almost to a boil and then turned it off. And I put it in this ramekin. By putting it, I mean mostly around the ramekin, all over the stove. You know, things really took off the wife. So once you do get some of that into the ramekin or bowl or whatever, bring it over to the table and uh, try not to spill it. That stuff's hot. So we're going to use Thermomorph. That is the one I bought and it's moldable plastic. And it's easy to use. There's more stuff on there that I didn't get a chance to read because it left the screen before I can voice over it. So what you see here is a bunch of pieces that I've used before. And that's kind of the beauty of this plastic is when you use something and you have some extra, you can just dip it right back in the hot water and reuse it. I also have some beads. That's the natural form they come in. And if you actually get up on them and watch, you'll see how they start white. And then when they're ready in about 30 seconds, 30 seconds, anybody got 30 seconds? There we go, 30 seconds. They turn translucent. And you just take something and you push them together and they start sticking together. Now you wanna make sure that they're not too hot because if you've got boiling water, you could burn yourself. Um, if it's not quite as soft as you want, um, you can put it right back in the water and give it more time to soften up. And of course, when your water gets hot, you can just add some more hot water. So I'm going to break a piece off here, and I've just got this little bottom thing from one of those little 25-cent machines where you get little tiny toys. And I put a little bit in the bottom, and I'm going to put a little bit, if I can get this, there we go. I'm going to put the other part in the top just to show you the shapes that you can get. And here's a quick tip. If you take a little bit of water, some ice water or cold water, and you dunk your thermomorph plastic or polymorph, whatever kind you have, within you know 10 to 15 seconds, they are hardened, and you don't have to sit and wait for them. So I'm going to do that with these two pieces so we can pull them out, and you can see how well this plastic takes the shape of the pieces they're in. Of course I had trouble getting this one out so I had to break out the butter knife and believe it or not I cut about 30 seconds out of the video of me trying to dig that out. But that's what it looks like on the bottom part of that. It's not perfect but you know if you wanted to make a, a button or some other sort of detail you could do that pretty easy with that. Here's the other part of the plastic thing that pops out much easier than the bottom did and it kind of looks like an eyeball so it's a nice round shape it's got a little divot in the center you can make it for use that for a lot of different things in a cosplay build so if you throw some more in there and you notice they are not translucent the water has cooled down too much so replace your water with some warmer water obviously and put them back in there 
and give them, you know, another 30 seconds or so to become translucent, at which point you can start to use them again. So now we're just going to show a couple things you can make using your plastic once it's nice and soft and moldable. I just took a small piece off and I put it on my front teeth and kind of curved it, kind of like a bunny rabbit or a character that has large teeth like the mask or whatever. And I put a little dent in the middle just using a butter knife and then I dipped it in the cold water to harden it faster. So that's how you can make things like that that custom fit for you. Here I just made a a diamond shape. It's going to be a jewel. Just something simple you can you can recreate over and over again. Um, you can sand it uh, and it's just a very simple type of thing. Just a diamond shape. Um, there it is. And it's not perfect. And next thing I did was made a claw. That little monster claw or which claw or whatever you want it to be doesn't necessarily stick. It just happens to have some good suction on there right now. But you'll need some sort of an adhesive to make it stick to your fingers. So that's a couple of the things you can make. Here we've got the eyeball, the button, the front tooth, which isn't in there, and, and much more. Hey, thanks for watching, but before you run off to make your own awesome cosplay armor and props, click that subscribe button down below so you'll always be updated when new videos are released. Also, if you need more tips, tricks, and tutorials, you can stop by www.ccosplay.com for much more information and articles that are released on a regular basis. And last but not least, stay crafty.